I'm the Picklesworth, and welcome back to AlphaCraft. Look at that. The sun just came up. We've got time. I don't have to take a nap yet. Crazy things won't happen. <laughs> Fingers crossed and everything. Look at this. We've got jungle wood going. We're starting to get areas that are completely spawn proof. And I've got a little bit more of this area worked on. I, I did a little... Yeah, this... Okay. See down there? That's the light shafts that are going down there. And Aletha Prime had told me, if I put string on here, snow won't gather on the snow blocks. We won't get light uh, obstructed. And so that way the light shafts will work down in the base. But I went ahead and extended a little bit more of the hill. I think where we ended off, I was somewhere right about here. And went ahead and built up some of this nice and flat. Now I know what you're thinking. It looks bleak. It looks empty. Well, don't worry. As, as things progress, as I get all the mountains built, then we're going to come back. We're going to start adding vegetation. Like in these flat areas, maybe some, uh, you know, since snow isn't gathering, maybe we could put in some dirt, some different trees and plants, stuff like that. We can have little areas up here. I've even got a few ideas of stuff I want to build up into the mountains. But we'll see. We'll see if we can get that far. We got so much stuff to do in this season. It's it's ludicrous, I tell you. But I finally figured out what I want to do. See that fellow right there that's been sitting there forever? There is uh there's a couple more of his buddies. They they've all been like slowly um migrating and moving around as I half slab the base. Okay, close your eyes if you're scared of heights. <laughs> Look at that took just one heart and look it didn't take any damage from my netherite boots it's just crazy i've been jumping like like mad around here i have not gone to the ender ender in about a week to heal up anything but i keep jumping off stuff like what you just saw my boots they take no damage it's the craziest thing in the world but as i've been going through building this base and half slabbing see see we got another one a little sneaky right there um yeah you guys there's one or two more there's some other pigs around here somewhere Uh oh we gotta get back to the jump boost let's see here let's just we'll just enter pearl over there oh it's over on that side maybe oh, i can't remember now but yeah there's a couple of uh migrating pigs around here that need to be dealt with and not in a bad way we just need to round them up because as I keep closing up this area and covering all this up, they're eventually going to get covered to the point we're not going to see them anymore. See, there's some more pigs right there. I need to round all those fellows up. That one, he could probably stay out there and wander. Actually, those two out there, I might wash them down and let them wander. Have a few pigs wandering around outside of the base. That would be fine. But let's go back over here because I've done something I want to show you. I've been doing just a little bit of off-camera work. Just, uh, you know, I built that hill, made it nice and flat, but I've also been inspired to do something else. Now, if you're really paying attention to what's going on, you've probably kind of spotted it already. But I didn't call it out, so maybe you didn't. Ooh, there we go. Jump on down. Whoop. It's dark in there, Peggy. What happened? Well, looky here. Come over here. So I went ahead and added this light. I added those little lamps because they kind of match this area. And look, I went ahead and finished that off and finished this off. So this is all nice and enclosed now. Now it is a little dark, but we've got these two spots still to work with. And you're probably asking yourself, Piggy. Maybe not you're asking yourself, you're asking me. Why would you ask yourself, Piggy? You're not named Piggy, I'm named Piggy. You're not, you're named, not named Piggy, I'm named Piggy. You might be asking me. <laughs> Uh-oh, I hit the wrong button. Hang on. There we go. Okay. You might be asking Piggy, what in the world do pigs have to do with this area down here? I don't understand what you're up to. Well, don't worry about it, because that's what today's episode is going to be about. So you're going to find out. We're going to get this little spot right here kind of finished off. So we're going to hollow out this and hollow out that. We're going to do something with those pigs. Hopefully, it's going to give us a little bit more light source as well, just so it's not too dark and dreary in here. But it's also going to allow us to do something even better. See, as I move forward, oh, excuse me, as I move forward, I have got, I, I wanted to leave this area right in here so I could build something and then uh, go ahead and finish off some more of this cave and some more beams and stuff like that. And then we've got to build something right in here. And then that's going to let us finish off the cave in this area and to start working on the mountain up top. And so basically what that means is 
up until about this point, the the bones of the base will be finished. Now, there's a lot more builds to put all through here and maybe on this side. I'm not sure if I want to put them on this side or not, but I know I've got some builds that need to go right here over in that corner right there. And just that th there's stuff that's outside the base that still needs to be built. There's so much stuff that needs to be done around here. It's crazy. Piggy always biting off more than he can chew, I tell you. But I figured it was time that we go ahead and we give these little pigs a home. And we go ahead and finish up this area. So I've got this really cool idea of what I've wanted to do with these two spots and with uh, with the pigs. Now I know what to do with the pigs. And we'll work this out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start hollowing out these areas and start getting them prepped and ready. And I'm going to bring you back and show you the, the beginnings of what the world these two spots are going to be. And then maybe from there, you're going to start to be able to figure out what am I going to do with these mobs? What is Piggy up to? Always oh, got these little secret plans. Sometimes it takes them like 30 episodes to get a plan actually shown to you. And then sometimes I'll rattle on about plans and I actually show you in the episode, which is what I kind of hope to do today. So we'll see how this goes. All right. So you just sit tight. You stay up there right now. Don't you move nowhere till I get a bucket of water. I'll rescue you. Yes, I will. And I'll give you a home finally, okay? <laughs> okay. So I'm wandering around here with three little pigs. <laughs> I figured out I, I can put down a bucket of water. I can put a lead on these guys and then start to walk. And they will actually swim up the water for me and follow me. Now let's see here. I'm trying to figure out what's a good way to navigate to get these guys over here. Come on, you. Because I still got the one other pig. The one pig that's been like the cliff pig the whole time. The cliffhanger pig. Do you guys get... No, I don't think they do. I was going to say, I wonder if mobs get like super run and super jump. But I don't think so. And I didn't bring my bed. And I'm not so certain that sleeping would be a good idea anyway on this server. Might not ever be able to sleep again on this server. Ooh, this is dark. Now, I, I did something that I have... Oh! Come on, guys. <laughs> Server's got a little bit of lag going on today again. Um, I did something that I had done before, and then we switched to a newer version of Minecraft. And every time that happens, I lose the ability to do what I'm doing until I go back and reset the ability to do it again. Which is, I have got Optifine reset so that we've got connected glass textures and we have um, dynamic lighting. Do I have all three? <gasps> no, don't fall. Don't fall, buddy. You made it this far. And you, can we? There we go. Woohoo! Um, let's see. I need to put a lead on you. There we go. We got all four of them. Awesome. Operation Rescue Pig is, is underway. Can Okay, cool. They can all make their way over here. Now, you can see I've been putting down more jungle slabs. Uh-oh, I've got something built, too. Okay, guys. Nobody gets hurt, okay? Let's see here. I think I can put water. Oh, okay. I got hurt. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Y'all didn't see that, did you? Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good. I had water down. What? Oh, man. Oh, tartar sauce. That stinks. Well, come on, guys. I brought you home. I got you a nice little home set up right in here. Come on. You too. I know it seems scary, but trust me, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Let's see here. I need to... I didn't block this off the way I wanted to. Okay, so now if I do that... Okay, cool. That worked. Oh, man, that stinks that we lost one of the pigs. I could have swore that I had everything all set up nice and safe and that everything was going to work let's see here i think i've got i need one two three four pieces of glass put these two here and i let's uh let's do this i'll take the carrots out of my hand so that they'll quit tracking me because what i don't know is can they break through one block um okay i swapped that out pretty quick Swap that out pretty quick. There we go. Now we got a nice little habitat for these guys. 
kind of looks like a winter scene, a little winter wonderland. But they, they they can walk around safe. They've got some carrots. They got some water. They got some dirt to play in. Everything's safe and sound. And I'm still thinking about adding some blue to the ceiling to kind of make it look like it's a little iced over, like a little ice cave. But it's like a little habitat for these guys. I don't know what to do about this. I might have to put that in the museum. <sighs> I was going to go a whole season without anything bad happening. That stinks. But okay, I, I'm like shook by that now. I got to figure out how to get over that. I don't know if I can. Oh, are you hopping around? Are you cold? Well, maybe he wants to jump and he's stuck under the mushroom. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Man, oh man, oh man. That stinks. But okay, so we got to regroup. We got to refocus. So now that I've got this little area built, nice little scene. I like it because watch. Watch what it looks like when you come from around the corner. I'm going to come through here, kind of see it. There's some color over there. And as you come over this way, you see this little, this little decoration. It's like the cold side with the cold winter pigs. Love it. Now, you guys don't go traipsing all over the carrots and making spawn spaces, okay? I think I've got it lit up well enough where... Um, where there's no more spawnable spots. I'm going to, let's see here, I'm going to hit F7. I went ahead and installed one more mod that gives me the light levels. So I've got that again. I can see light levels. So because I'm not getting any, I, I walked around. Oh, okay. Oh, that's weird that it considers that a, okay. But I walked around inside there and I checked and I didn't see any um, spawnable surfaces. So I think we're safe with mobs walking around. The only thing is, an Enderman might be able to get in there and place a block. So we'll just have to keep our eyes out for, for that. I'm hoping as I get more stuff half slabbed and I get more area um, uh, built up that the Enderman won't be able to make a way over here. But now we got one more thing to do. We got to do something with this side. So can you figure out what I'm going to do with this side? If that side looks like that, oh no. Put the carrots in your hand, Piggy, so you can eat them. Wait, no, don't do that. Don't eat the carrot, Piggy. Don't eat the carrot. There's something better. There's something more tasty. Although I think we're down to like some poisonous items now over here. Oh, I'm out of ender pearls too. Okay. Run, run, run. We're wasting time. Wasting film. Come on now. Whoop. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> it's like it never happened. Yeah. Oh, I had some diamonds in there. I forgot about that. Ooh, and name tags too. Okay, so come here, you. A baked potato. There we go. Awesome. We only got three left. It's counting down. When will it happen? I don't know. See, I went ahead and, and uh, built up some more of the, the caved, caved, the curved surface of the cave. So we've got a little bit more going on right there. That area is kind of finished. I may bring it out to about right here on this edge. Maybe right in here, just so it's in line with that. So it obstructs that visually. And then that, that way, from this line to the right, I can go and start working on the mountain as well. And then once we build what we're going to build right there, then I can go ahead and finish that off. And that'd be great because then, like I said, we can start to have uh, parts of the base that we can say is getting closer to completion than farther from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, the poor tragedy. The tragedy of the pig. I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, they can track me through glass if I have carrots i'm sorry you guys i'm sorry what happened i thought i had a foolproof plan but it just doesn't always work so i'm gonna go ahead and take a nap i'm gonna dig this out and start building what i want to go over here and then we've got a few more mobs we're gonna wrangle this is gonna be fun <laughs> we got a few more mobs we're gonna wrangle so that we can get this project done and get this area completed so that we can move on to even bigger and better things so y'all sit tight ah I'm going to get this site prepped and ready, and I'm going to bring you back and show you what in the world are we going to do with this, and what does all this mean? Now look where we are. We're in the nether. <gasps> you are exactly what I wanted. Come here, you. <laughs> Hopefully he'll follow me a little bit. I want to try and get him away from that other one. I have got myself a little walkway design here. All right, come here and get angry. 
Come on, follow me. And it's okay, I've made this trek several times already. And there's a reason I dug all the way down as well. You'll see in just a second. Oh no, we got two of them coming after us. I only need one. I might have to kill the one. You know what we could do? Let's do this. We'll get rid of you. I thought it dropped ahead. Oh no, there's more. <laughs> I only need one more. There's a whole army of them. Great. This is going to be fun. Now, there's nobody on the server right now, so that's good. I don't have to worry about this army of, of zombie pigs hurting anybody. Come on, you guys, like a conga line. What I'm thinking is, okay, so maybe when we get up to this, to this uh, tunnel up here, we'll go ahead and take care of this. Because, see, I need to make sure that there's no bad guys or hoglins or anything running around in here. So, let's see. We'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. Oh, one with an enchanted. That'll work. You come with me. And it's really weird. Their hands get really dark when they lift them up. Do they? Are they always been that dark? I can't tell if that's like a lighting glitch or if that's just their normal texture. But okay, here we go. You step on through. Whoop! Like magic just disappeared. Oh no! What is that over there? <laughs> step on through. Oh, it's nighttime. Great. Um, where are you at? I can hear you. Come on, angry. Come on, angry. Follow me. And we need to do this. Can't believe a pig caught me. That's right. A pig caught you. You don't know it yet, but you're about to get caught. That is some uh, name tags left over from when Cena Rose and I was working on her, her zoo exhibit with the, uh, the pillagers. Which a lot of people enjoyed that video. I was surprised how many people watched that video and enjoyed it. Come on, you. I just have to escort them. I got to show them how to get through. Like I, 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 I was hoping I could get them to use the uh, the slime slingshot, but yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> it doesn't work, Peggy. No matter how much you teach them, they just want to hit things. Come on, you. So yeah, like I said, I've made this trek a few times before. Oh, stinkers! You know what I didn't do? I didn't switch to Optifine. So you're going to get to see what this looks like without Optifine on. And then we'll come back and show it with Optifine. How about that? Because without Optifine, it's actually pretty ugly. I really wish that Minecraft would make um, glass blocks seamless. So like maybe, ooh, ooh, there's a little lag spike. Um, maybe you could see, see all the lines. Maybe make the lines just on the outer edge. Oh, these guys are all going to be angry. Okay, so come over here. I learned the hard way. Come this way. There you go. I got to get him where he's going to head straight at me. I'm going to climb up here. Okay, now what I need to do is this and then jump up here. Whew, we're safe. Oh, and he ran in here. Awesome. Okay, cool. You guys just chill. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? I'm going to go and close that up for now just to be safe. So, what I have done is I... Uh, Let's see, we'll go over here and I'll show you this first. So we've got the three pigs and I got a chicken. I found a chicken wandering around and I got a chicken in there. And there's a reason why I got that chicken. Put a little bit of ice up there too. I think that ice makes it look really nice. But I'm ching. Now, so what's going on is we've got contrast. I don't know if you can figure that out. So what's going on is everything that's built over here, I built it identical over here, but it looks like it's in the nether. So it's kind of like this is the overworld version of something. Hey, pigs, having your little little bath and everything. And so these pigs turn into zombie pigs in the nether. And that chicken with them derpy little eyes. Look at me, chicken. Chicken. He's camera shy. He knows I'm looking at him. <laughs> there we go. See them silly little eyes sticking out on the side of his head? That's the same way this Strider looks. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. The Strider, I like the concept of the creature. I've always felt like the textures for that creature is lacking something. It, it is just nowhere near the level of detail and interest that the other mobs have. Like Maybe the body and the hair is interesting, but the face is just... It's a little strange. I get the feeling that maybe someday somebody's going to rework that texture a little bit. But yeah, that's what we got going on in here. But it looks ugly. It sure does. And look at this. I've still got to get lava because old Mr. Strider is freezing in there. 
we need to make sure that we got plenty of lava. So what I got to do is wait a few minutes for these guys to settle down so that I can climb in there safely and put lava in. Because the last thing we want is to try and place lava in there with a bunch of angry zombie uh, pigs and have them knock me in the lava. So I'm going to have to do that. We're going to have to do one more little uh, clip. I'm going to wait for them to settle down. I'm going to switch over to Optifine so you can see what it looks like for reals. Go ahead and get some lava in there. And then we'll have a done project, which will be awesome. So y'all just sit tight and we'll meet right back over here. So we're underneath the base. Over that way is to the uh, the steminator, the machine that lets us chop up a whole bunch of the, the nether trees. Look, you can see I've got seamless textures going on. That's right, we got Optifine going on. This is the food shoots. The food usually shoots right through here and right up that bubble column. <laughs> I went ahead and made uh, an access point here because the other way of doing this, it, it was just way too long. I was having to run way, way, way around to get to this thing. But here we are. Here's the, the bone meal thing. Somebody had posted in one of the comments, uh, I think his previous episode, that always throws me when I hear them, previous episode or the episode before about what was going on. I had figured it out on my own about a day or two before they posted, but I figured I would go ahead and point it out. Look, it's got to be a dropper piggy. A dropper. If you use a dispenser and you have bone meal and you give it redstone power, it's going to think you're wanting to put bone meal on like a plant or grass or something in front of it. So the only way you can spit bone meal out is with a dropper. So now that I've got a dropper in there, the thing's working like a charm. But let's go run up here and give you a little update. Um, somebody else had put in the comments. They're like, well, why don't you just take pictures of all the work you're doing on the mountains, and then you can kind of do like a slideshow or something and show us the uh, the progress. Well, the problem is I've done a whole bunch of work, and I haven't taken any pictures. So it's to be kind of a weird little thing to try and do. I like the concept, and I appreciate the feedback. But I figured it would, it would just be better if I run over and show you little bits and pieces as it is. Now, as we get more stuff built and constructed and whatnot, I'm probably either going to do some kind of time lapse or I'm going to do a flyby and replay mod or get on an elytra and fly around. But you can see that this area all through here, I've gone ahead and put, uh-oh, uh Piggy, you missed a spot. <laughs> but I've gone through and I've started putting jungle uh, half slabs everywhere so that we can go ahead and make sure everything is spawn proof at, whoa. And so I can go ahead and start getting ready to, to build up the mountainside. Now, right in here, it's going to be a lot of stone somewhere down in this area. We're going to have like a smooth transition. See how you got a bunch of dirt and grass right there. I know it looks like a hard line. And as I go and actually start building it, I'll change that and we'll, we'll make it look a little bit more natural. But eventually it's going to look like kind of a sloping bit of dirt that will eventually turn into the stone. Because what happens is, over time, rain falls on mountains. And rain is water. Water accumulates and it begins to flow downwards because water always wants to, one, follow the path of least resistance, two, find the lowest point because gravity is always pulling it downwards. And water's liquid, and liquid just moves over, you know, most stuff. So water's always going to want to find the low point. So as it's washing down the side of the mountain, it picks up little particles with it based off of how fast the water's moving. The faster the water goes, and the more water that you have, the larger the particles it can take with it. But as it gets to the bottom of the, uh, the mountain and the ground seems to flatten out a little bit, it's going to lose its speed, its momentum. And so as it slows down, it can't keep carrying different size particles. The slower it goes, the, the larger particles start dropping out of it. And so they start piling up. And so that's why at the bottom of a, of a mountain, you get this wash of, of dirt, of fine particles, of little stuff. And as you start going up the mountain, you see small rocks and pebbles, and then you see boulders, and then you just see the stone that the mountain is. That's why you get that that washout, it's called erosion. See, look at that. Science with Piggy in geology, ge not geology, geography, geology. Yes, geology with Piggy. <laughs> but that's the natural uh, way that a, that a mountain works and how runoff and erosion works. And so by building it 
uh, grass and maybe small rocks and some gravel and then working our way up to stone, when you see it, the intuition in your mind that you're used to seeing things be that way, you'll see it and your brain will say, oh, huh, that looks like a mountain. That makes sense. So that's what's going on out here. But you notice, you notice those pigs are gone. Uh-oh. I left two spots. Do I have any more jungle wood on me? Nope, I don't. Oh, I can't jump any higher. See, I left these little spots right here. That's where those pigs were when I washed them down. But I haven't come back and put... Oh! I... See? Took no damage. I'm telling you, there's something crazy going on with these boots. But I do love the fact that it only took half a heart. Or did it take a whole heart? Doesn't matter because it's gone now. Hey, bees. Y'all just hang out. Let's jump over here. Almost there. And with Optifine on, we can finally see what this is supposed to look like. Look at that. They're all just hanging out. They like taking a bath too. Strider's finally got himself some uh, some lava, so he feels a little bit more normal, not so shivering cold. It's funny, when I was moving the Strider, I was really concerned that him turning blue, he was going to freeze to death, but he didn't, which is awesome. So, like I said, all these blocks, the lamps, all the placement of everything is a perfect mirror image of that. Oh, weird. I never knew they made a little sound. That was creepy. <laughs> but then we got this really cool little setup right here. Oh, great. We're going to have eggs everywhere. Don't y'all go eating any of the eggs. Mm-hmm. We know what happens when you eat all them eggs. Where's the chicken? Okay, there it is. Whew. I'd put a baby chicken in there earlier, and then it died. I think it grew up and suffocated into one of the blocks. So now we got a chicken chicken instead of a baby chicken. Awesome. So we've got this little area finished and done. It's nice to see projects. Oh, don't eat the carrot, Piggy. Don't eat the carrot. It's nice to see projects finally starting to come along. And there's something else cool that's going on. Check this out. We do have bone meal working through the system. I'm going to show you. Um, oh, no, that's not going to work. Because if I put it in over there, it'll just go right back here. Um, tartar sauce. <laughs> I was going to dump a whole bunch of uh, organic stuff. And, and have it run through the system. And then we could watch bone meal fall from the ceiling. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to build up a, a cache of a bunch of organic stuff that's full somewhere. And then run it through the system so we can actually watch bone meal rain from the sky. But let's go over here. Oh, we're starting to get really hungry. What do we get? <gasps> Puffer fish. Great. That's going to make us sick. <laughs> oh, we get three effects. What are they? I've never seen what the... No, no, go away. What are the effects? Nausea, hunger, and poison. Oh my gosh, don't eat a puffer fish. It'll make you feel silly. Real silly. I got two haunches for hunger, though. Watch it be tofu. Just to, Yep, it's tofu. Just to troll me. We have the episode where the poor pigs fall and get hurt. And so I got to eat the tofu. Now the real question is, is this going <gasps> to... It's empty! It's empty! Do you know what that means? It's happening. It's hap. No, I didn't mean to jump on the bed. Stop jumping on the bed, piggy. Come here, apple. It's happening. This is awesome. If I can ever stop dying. Stop dying, piggy. Quit getting sick. Eight seconds. Seven seconds. It's going to ruin the, the stinking advancement. Um, Let's see here. Let's go. We're going to... That was close. I almost... I, I could have died there. Go ahead and heal up. We're going to climb up here. And we're going to look at the snowy mountain peaks at night. And we're going to get ourselves a cool achievement. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I had no idea it was going to happen this episode. See? See? If you stick around and watch the whole episode, all kinds of cool stuff happens. If you didn't stick around, which you'll know because you had to come back and watch this, you're going to see next episode and the apple's going to be gone. You're like, wait a minute. Where'd the apple go, Piggy? Where did the apple go? Mm-hmm. Well, here we go. Here goes the apple. If you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more of these as I release them, you're already subscribed and you want to be, well, go and click subscribe. And if you want to be notified when new videos come out, make sure to get that notification bell clicked as well. And then hopefully notifications will work. This is awesome. We're getting an advancement. Here it goes. This better not mess up. Woo! Doo -doo -doo. He got an advancement. Good job, Peggy. Good game. Good game. High five and everything. What does it say? Eat everything that is edible, even if it's not good for you. Yep, that sounds like what a pig would do. Look at all them hearts. Now, that would have come in handy if I was in the middle of a UHC 
or if we were doing a village raid. <laughs> oh, look at the shield. What, a fire resistance? Absorption? Wow, you get some really great stuff going on with that. I like how it's like a little flame with fires. <laughs> That's cool. Oh my gosh, close your eyes if you're sick of heights. Ah! Oh, almost made it to the water. There we go. But man, oh man, this is awesome. We got ourselves an advancement. Thank you, Spiderweb Ninja, for setting that up. That was so cool. Thank you so much for finding that golden apple and sticking it over in that uh, city. I don't know why you found it where you did, and I don't know who helped me find it. Strange things are going on in this place. We got ourselves a little area finished. We got an advancement. That is awesome. So thank you all so much for watching. Had a whole lot of fun making this episode, and I can't wait to see you again in the next episode of Alpha Craft. No, I didn't forget. I was pausing for dramatic effect.